Hey, what's going on guys? Dave the Usher here. Uh, we're going to be doing another unboxing today. It's been a while since uh, we've been doing uh, an unboxing. I've been away on vacation and the holidays and then I was sick for like two weeks with the flu and the cold and, and everything and it's just been a big pain. But uh, you haven't done a video like this in a while so it's pretty exciting. I got a couple packages and a letter here uh, off to the side. We're going to be opening these. It's going to be a lot of fun. Let's check it out. What do we got up first? Oh, good lord, these boxes are so big. This is, uh, this is another package from John, from Tennessee. John has been sending me a lot of various items, like uh, Asian-type food products and, uh, you know, uh, the silkworm pupas and the little tin can that I ate in one of my uh, other unboxings. Uh, he sent me, like, a lot of, you know, different kind of sweets. And uh, let's see what we got here. I'm just going to open this up real quick here. Woof. Okay. Open this box up here. It's fun doing unboxings, and uh, it's been a while since the last one, and I've been really looking forward to finally, you know, doing another. Finished uh, a couple projects lately, and hopefully we can also get onto some uh, some more video game products. Uh, and uh, you know, I, I also hope to do some more, uh, you know, exotic cooking in my uh, exotic cooking vid. So you know, oh man, here we go. So there's always wish these would stay down nicer, you know? There is always a lot of a lot of this stuff here. This is just gonna get all over the place, but it's necessary. John uh, takes uh, a lot of time and effort uh, and, and cost uh, to, you know, put this all together really nicely. I'm just gonna put that to the side there, it's so big. Uh, anyway, John always sends me, you know, a letter accompanied with, uh, you know, what he sends. So let's, uh, let's check this out. Uh, Dear Dave, hope these will be packed with enough sugar or uh, unusual enough to help with any uh, lethargy from your trip. Uh, if any tastes particularly bad, then uh, now consider us even for those slaps in Little Big Planet Karting when we were playing uh, Little Big Planet Karting together, co-op style. I'd like to hit that up or some karting with you again sometime in the future, and I have some questions about advice on recording hardware and software if you ever have any spare time. Uh, I always have spare time. Hope you and Ty had a wonderful time. I wish that both of you... Uh, I wish that both of you will have a great year and that you will continue to have amazing new experiences and discoveries. Sincerely, John. P.S. Try not to destroy any more bathrooms or toilets. Uh, if you're wondering what that means, I was at Ty's uh, apartment, my girlfriend, uh, a couple months ago. I was doing a couple videos. You can uh, browse my vid, search back a little bit, and uh, there's a vid there where I uh, clog Ty's toilet. No offense to Ty's toilet, but uh, it sucks. The toilet's horrible, and it just can't handle my, uh, you know, how you doing there. So, uh... The toilet was just bad, and it can't take my it can't take my poops, man. It can't take my fat fudge nougats, okay? But uh, oh man, and I'm going back to Ty's place for like a, a pretty long extended trip soon. What's going on? A pretty long trip soon, so oh, that's gonna be that's gonna be a challenge. Toilet challenge. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. So that's the letter from John. Thanks, John. Um, he's talking about sugary sugary something. Yeah, maybe I should just do the unboxing with it right here. Actually, it could be, it could be just better. I feel. So there's a couple of things. Huh. There's a couple of things. Okay, sticking out here, and I want to try this. I want to try this immediately. This is bacon pop. <laughs> is this this is popcorn uh, with bacon flavor? I suppose this is kind of cool. Uh, doesn't bacon flavor make everything better? From the makers of Bacon A's, which I have tried on. One of these unboxings, someone sent me bacon A's. And bacon salt. Bacon salt, Jesus. We have bacon pop. Three bags of it. Here the pop tastes the sizzle. Good lordy. It's gluten free and no cholesterol too. Here, one, one more time. Bacon pop, good stuff. Holy crap. Oh, I want to try some of this right now. Hold on. Let's just see. Let's just see what else we have in here. I'm trying to contain the mess, basically, this time. And the way uh, the way these are wrapped up. So we got uh, something wrapped up. It's a bottle of something. I can't really tell what's in there. Some kind of beverage, of course. 
Oh boy. All right, that did the trick. A little knife action. Coffee soda, Jesus. <laughs> oh, this is this feels like a real heavy kind of bottle here. I don't know why. Uh, Lester's Fixins Coffee Soda. You'll get your fixins. All right. Where do they sell? Co I don't think I've ever seen coffee soda. Look at that shit. Oh, that's that's got to be a, a real healthy treat. Coffee soda. We're gonna have to try some of these right now. Yeah, I'll save the coffee soda maybe for like recording, like you said, for one of those one of those rainy days. Oh man. <laughs> oh god. Spotted dick sponge pudding right here in a can. This is turning out to be a lot more than I uh, was kind of anticipating. Who wants who wants me to try some spotted dick? Spotted dick right here, baby. Good stuff. All right, we're just continuing the reach in here it feels like another one of the uh, yeah probably another kind of drink and why don't we just continue reaching in you know I'll just I'll pull them all out here all right here's another stuff that stuff sticks to everything I never know when there's something still left in there there's been a couple videos where like I pick stuff out and then Later on, I'm like, oh man, I gotta add this back because there's more stuff in here. That could be it, actually. Wait. <laughs> See, every time. Every time you put a arrow, feel the bubbles. Yeah, it's kind of like a kind of like a weird chocolate bar. I'll show this. So that's kind of cool. And <laughs> bacon pop. Alright, I think that could be it. Oh wait, there's another. That's a lion chocolate bar. You know what's funny? I've seen these. I can't remember if I had one. I've seen these at my grocery store, Wegmans. That's kind of cool. Lion. Lion chocolate bars. They need to have these more mainstream, these crazy weird chocolate bars. Is that it? I can't tell. Coffee crisp. Here's another one. They're so hard to find down there. Coffee crisp chocolate bar. Good stuff. And another one, it's a Mars bar. A Mars bar. Oh, that's awesome. It's such a, an unusual size, too. It's so weird. Little printed things on there, too. Who put that on there? The store? That's weird, huh? Mars bar. <laughs> All right, so I just knifed these open. So we got three more bottles of, uh, who knows? We have the coffee soda, number one. OK. Gonna pull these out now. We have <laughs> pumpkin pie soda. Y'all get your fixins. <laughs> like pumpkin pie soda. That is pretty. That sounds pretty gnarly. That sounds pretty gnarly right there. Oh my god. Pumpkin pie soda. I don't know. I think I, I like that one. We'll see. Peanut butter and jelly soda. <laughs> oh, I get the peanut butter, but the jelly, how does that work? Anyway, God, it's such a weird color. Peanut butter and jelly soda. And we have, uh, let's see, it's green. Rocket Fizz Green Apple Jalapeno. Pure cane sugar. Rocket Fizz Soda. Good God. <laughs> oh, man. I feel like this is a this is an entire video of itself. That's just so awesome. Okay, so let's see. What do, what do we do now? I want to try some of these. You know, let's just try. Let's. I gotta try this Mars bar right now because this looks pretty tasty. John is spoiling me this time with a bunch of junk food. That's what he's doing. That's pretty damn tasty Mars bar. Hmm. That's good. It's good stuff. So should we pop some of this bacon popcorn here? All right, I took John's popcorn, his bacon pop, popped it up, and uh, here we go. We got some uh, bacon popcorn right here. I took John's uh, spotted dick, 
right here. Uh, what you do is you open up the can, plunk it out, you microwave it for like a minute and a half, and there you go, we have some uh, sponge pudding. Good stuff. Oh, let's see, what should we try first? I'll go with the popcorn. All right, this is bacon pop from the uh, creators of Bacon A's. So let's, uh, let's try this out, you know? It's pretty good. You know, the funny thing is, real quick, when I was uh, popping, the bag like would open up prematurely and the popcorn would start spilling out, so it was just kind of funny. I had to like scoop it all out of the microwave. All right, I mean, it's good. It's popcorn, it's good. I didn't add anything to it. Just, you know, in and out. There's like a, a hint of butter, a hint of salt. You can definitely taste that. Um, I, I wouldn't say there is a strong bacon flavor though, which uh, you would think with bacon pop, like it would be like pretty much overwhelming to the point where you're like, oh my God, I can't eat, I can't eat any more of this. The bacon is just out of control. But really, it's, uh, it's kind of mild, you know? Once again, good, but I would think with bacon pop, man, the bacon would be popping, you know, it would be out of control. But I like it. Interesting, I don't think I've ever seen bacon pop. Not that I've been really looking for it, but I don't recall ever seeing it. So there you go, that's bacon pop. It's good stuff. And that will be the snack for tonight, later. Alright, we have a uh, spotted dick sponge pudding right here. Took it out of the can. Microwaved it up a little bit. Just put it in this big, uh, this big dish. You have to cover it. Heats it up real nice. So this is heated. Yeah, still a little, still warm, so that's nice. Uh, okay, just gonna kind of take a... There we go, that's a, that's a good piece right there. Whoa! And then close up there, if you can see. Good stuff. Alright, so let's uh, eat some spotted dick. Hmm, real chewy. Not chewy, but it's, it's very thick. Uh, yeah, there's raisins in it. It's kind of interesting. I'm not a total raisins fan, but it kind of works in this. And it has a very nice flavor. I like spotted dick. Man, it's still well hot. Oh, the outside, I was, I was touching the top, it just feels a little warm. The inside is really still kind of, like, really hot. Oh, man. Gotta let that cool. It's only been, like, what, two minutes? It's still, like, really hot inside. It's crazy. I'm touching the middle now. A lot warmer. Yeah, this is nice. I, I like sponge pudding. It's it's cool. I don't think I've ever had it before. Well, I mean, I haven't had spotted dick before. Mmm. This is a nice treat. Oh, you probably noticed you don't see the uh, the bottles of crazy sodas. Uh, they're in the refrigerator right now. I'm cooling them down, and I'm gonna make that an entire different video. Actually, probably right after I do this, I'm gonna go get them, open them up, and I'm gonna try each one individually. Well, we're still on like package number one. Mmm. That's good. Very nice. Spotted dick's awesome. Go out and grab a spotted dick, guys. Bring it home. All right, technically, this package did not come from the UPS uh, mail store where people, you know, can send me stuff. Uh, this this came to me directly. Um, Ty, my girlfriend, uh, for a Christmas gift, uh, hooked me up with uh, a Beer of the Month Club membership for a couple months. So uh, <clears throat> this, re this just came yesterday. So I was like, hey, you know, let's put it in the unboxing. You know, it makes, makes sense. Uh, there's some other labels, but uh, the one I left on, it's kind of funny, I guess. It says, contains alcoholic beverages, adult signature required, recipient must be at least 21 years of age. Do not deliver to, do not deliver to an intoxic, intoxicated person. 
No driver or shipper release allowed. I mean, really, I just kind of think that's funny. Do not deliver to uh, an intoxicated person. <laughs> like, what? Like, am I going to answer the door and I'm going to be like, ah! you know, like, I just downed a bottle of Jack and I'm just like shit faced drunk. Like, I don't know. It's just kind of weird. I don't know. They, got, they have to have rules. Uh, UPS, by the way. All right, just going to. There we go. So, yeah, this is. Uh, Pretty much a Christmas gift from Thai uh, Beer of the Month Club membership for I think about three months. And uh, we're gonna check this out. All right, I put the package down to the side just so we could uh, get more room up here. But uh, here we go, yeah. This is from Amazing Clubs, America's number one gourmet uh, gifts of the month club. Good stuff. It's kind of nice how they send you like, you know, a couple things to look at here. You know, like coupons. And, uh, you know, Frosted Mug. This month's featured breweries. And they talk about them, you know? Woodstock Inn Brewery. So I guess that's what we have in here. Uh, and there's another one. Sprecher, I believe. Sprecher Brewing Company. Uh, Woodstock from New Hampshire. And uh, Sprecher from uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Hmm. Interesting. So, you know, it just kind of goes off and talks about it. You know, just kind of hold that up there. Hmm. In the back has a couple of, uh, you know, advertisements and stuff like that. It's kind of nice. But anyway, let's get to the beer. Let's get to the beer. Uh, like a, you know, pull up thing. Keeps it nice. Okay, so we have, uh, let's see, three, six, nine, twelve total beers. So yeah, here uh, we're starting with Woodstock Inn Brewery. Red Rack Ale. Could be an ale kind of thing. I didn't read the description fully, but 5.5% uh, uh, alcohol. You know, let's take a, take a look. Good stuff. Interesting label. It's got a moose on it. Uh... It looks kind of cheesy, but I kind of like that, you know? It looks very, like, uh, obscure. Like, I don't know. You're not going to be finding this all over. I don't know. Google it, you know? Red Rack Ale from the uh, Woodstock Inn Brewery of New Hampshire, I believe that was it. Great taste from a special place. That's Woodstock Brewery, folks. Good stuff. I usually like to save one of each, you know? And, uh, I don't know, maybe I might make, like, a big collection video out of all of them. I don't know. Could, I could do something. But, uh, you know, I have them. But I save. I, I like to save one in case I want to do kind of a project. Anyway, that's one Woodstock uh, beer. We're going to go to the next row. And this is uh, Sprecher. Sprecher, I believe. Sprecher Piper's Scotch Style Ale. So I think we're doing a... I think we're doing an ale theme here, and this was from, uh, yeah, Sprecher Brewing was from Wisconsin, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It's a Scotch-style ale. That sounds really intriguing. Want to check that out? Good stuff. Mm-hmm. Very interesting. You know, kind of a more, uh, I don't know, this, this kind of has a cheesy, obscure kind of labeling. This looks more... I don't know, official, maybe a little bit on the fancy side, you know, I guess you could say. Yeah, uh, bland, you know, no no labeling or any kind of marks on the top of that bottle, too, which which makes this even more, like, appropriate. Like, this is kind of a, a very, uh, like, an obscure type beer. But this, this seems a little more, I don't know. Like, I, I could walk into a beer store, and you might, you might come across something like this, I guess you could say. So that's good stuff. Hmm. All right, next row. You see, this is from the Woodstock Brewery again, but uh, it's it's different. Pemi Pale Ale. I believe it's uh, pronounced Pemi. Pemi Pemi, and it's got a it's got a fish on it, and the fish is very happy, and he, it looks very corny. Once once again, like very obscure, very kind of corny and silly looking. You can kind of see that. Yeah. 
Very intriguing. Yeah, so another ale. Another ale. Good stuff. We're doing ales this time. Okay, and this is a Sprecher again, of course. Abbey Triple. Abbey Triple Belgian style ale. Hmm. Check that out. Nice. Looks nice. Looks pretty good. These are cool beers. A beer of the month club is like the best gift uh, a dude could get, by the way. Every dude should get a beer of the month club gift at some point, I feel. Good stuff. All right. So there's more. Same kinds. You know, these are the, you know, two different types of beers. And there's two types within the types. So good stuff. I like it. Okay. That'll be interesting. And uh, I'm going to save a couple of these bottles and maybe we'll do something someday. Anyway, let's move on to the next gift. I'll clean this up. All right, next up we have a letter, you know? Why not? Just a nice letter. There was, those are always fun, you know? I like these. I'm just going to... Oh, this is from uh, a Brian from California, by the way. How you doing? So, you know, I'm just going to open this up. All right, good stuff. It'll be a nice, uh, you know, a little note in here. Good stuff. Here we go. Not a little note. Uh, okay. A long note. This is a long note. All right. Uh, February 8th, 2013. Oh, man. You see, this has been, a, like, the date just shows you this has been a long time coming. I'm, you know, glad I'm finally getting this, getting this done. It's been too long. Dear Dave, I love your videos. I wish I could give you uh, it a thumbs up, but I don't have a Facebook page. Oh, my, uh, my Facebook page, yeah. So uh, just uh, expect a thumbs up for every video. Also, I like your dog Bailey and Sam. Sam. Oh, uh, Sam. Samantha was actually not my dog. Samantha was a dog I was just watching. But uh, yeah, Samantha was a nice dog, wasn't she? She was, uh, she was a black lab and a little bit on the old side, but it didn't really, it didn't seem like it, did, she, did it? She was uh, a very, you know, healthy dog. I also have a dog. She's a Dachshund mix. Her name is Cookies. She is playful but doesn't love the water or snow. Uh, anyway, can you make a video of the uh, movie mode of Fall of Cybertron? I can't find any videos for that. And also Call of Duty. Oh, I don't know about Call of Duty. You're the guy for the, for the comments and Video Master. I wish I could send you something, but it's, only, it's the uh, only envelope I have. By the way, what is your favorite video you did or video game? Mine is Fall of Cybertron. Yeah, I don't know about uh, I don't know about Call of Duty. First of all, I never played Call of Duty in my life. Oh man, some people like the Call of Duty. Uh, if I played that, I would get my head shot off probably in like 0 0.1 seconds. Um, movie mode, movie mode of Fall of Cybertron. The movie mode? You mean the story mode of Fall of Cybertron? Uh, I, I did I did a campaign of that. Um, and actually, I haven't done the multiplayer stuff of Fall of, of, Fall of Cybertron yet, uh, and uh, I'm trying. I'm trying to work up to doing that actually. But uh, what is my favorite video you did for a video game? Hmm. I don't know. What is your favorite video you did? Probably something from like an RPG, because I, I you do so many. Of those videos, because those games take forever. It's like 50, 50 hours. But, uh, you know, uh, a weird game that I did a walkthrough of was Enchanted Arms. And not, not that I'm saying the game was great. Uh, it, was, it was very weird. And uh, thus, it kind of made, it made for like a, a fun project, you know? Because it was so strange and weird. Not that the game was that great or anything. It was kind of a generic RPG. I don't know, that comes to mind. Uh, way, way long ago, back in the day, I liked, I liked the Lufia SNES games. Those were good. Or, you know, you could throw a Final Fantasy VII walkthrough in there, or nine. Nine was always fun. But yeah, that's, uh, that's the end of the, the letter. Sincerely, Brian. P.S. When did you first make a YouTube video? I was just thinking, but uh, actually, well, my five-year anniversary did pass, but, you know, it's funny. Uh, you dated this 2813. Actually, my first video was 2808. 2808, which is kind of funny. So five years uh, exactly before you wrote this is when I made my first video. It's kind of funny. Five years right before this letter. 
So, uh, yeah, I just had my five-year anniversary. Good stuff. Um, and, yeah, making videos, you know, making just silly, funny little videos has is, is been fun. So, you know, maybe you'll be doing it hopefully another five years, and we'll see what happens. This this last year, I always, you know, it's just been the craziest. But, uh, hey, thanks, Brian. I appreciate it. That's a nice letter. It's good stuff. Well, uh, I believe that's all we have. Wait a minute. One more thing. Oh, yes, we have uh, we have one more, one more small package, very thin. You know, you can kind of tell what would be inside something like this. So uh, we don't need a knife. Let's open this up. Okay, we have a video game, and uh, it looks like the game is. Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch for the PlayStation 3. Look what we have here. You know, I just I just wrapped up a, an RPG just uh, just yesterday, pretty much. Final Fantasy X, good old Final Fantasy X for the PS2. Just finished that up. You know, I, I don't think I'm working on any RPG projects really right now. How about Nino Kuni? You know, this could be fun, right? I haven't played it. I haven't played it. It's right here in my hand. What do you guys think? Think this is a good one? And I do believe my uh, old buddy uh, Canada Knight, that's his uh, handle, sent this game to me. Uh, he's he sent me uh, like a, a lot of cool stuff in the past. Very very nice dude. And Nino Kuni, this game is pretty hot, uh, pretty new, pretty fresh, and uh, apparently pretty well received. I hear I hear it's like uh, it's taking the RPGs back to where you know where it used to be great you know like classic RPG kind of stuff. Um, it's kind of like it's kind of anime-ish, and uh, some of you have probably heard some of my comments on anime. Anime is a little weird and strange. There's a lot of there's a lot of weird anime kind of elements out there, but you know a lot of people love anime, and uh, you know this this could be I've played worse. <laughs> This could be, but I don't, I don't even expect this game to be bad. I expect to have a lot of fun with it. And, and I think this is going to be my next project right here, guys. Nino Kuni. All right. So now I do believe that that was everything, you know, from bacon, popcorn, and spotted dick, Nino Kuni video games, and beers, and letters, and like a bunch of crazy stuff. Um, uh, John, I got your... Uh, Crazy sodas in the fridge. Hopefully they're cold now. I, I wanna I wanna record that vid right now for a for a whole separate vid. We're gonna check those out. So good stuff. This has been a great unboxing, guys. If you wanna send me any you know little silly thing, whatever you want, you know you can uh, just look down below the video. Uh, I got the uh, UPS uh, address. Just fill that out, and uh, you can send me anything. I'll It'll go there, I'll pick it up, and I'll do another unboxing vid. Good stuff, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, and thanks to everyone who sent me items in this video and in past videos. A lot of fun. Uh, having a lot of fun doing vids. So I'm Dave the Usher. I'll see you guys next time. I am out. Spotted dick. Spotted dick pudding. Spotted dick. <laughs>